not to be the ultimate babies, but it is freezing outside. Oh, it felt so good in a way, although I couldn't feel my face this morning when I went out to walk <laughs> There's Henry. nothing like that <laughs> feeling. It's the best feeling when you can't feel your face. It's good my beard's coming back a little bit because it's then my blanket. face, I know, then my face I won't like be as it. cold. But definitely a hard freeze last night. I don't know if it was a mm -hmm. hard freeze, but it was a freeze warning and it, you could feel it in your bones for right. sure. Um, and so I feel for those people that go out early in the morning and they still do like their morning runs, their morning exercise right. it takes a lot to do that every day um, but we know that people in Hollywood often we see these amazing transformations they're out there they're out there in and a big way you've probably seen this one do you know how to say his name by the way Remember no the I don't but you did, did it right off the bat so it's actor Kumail Nanjiani I hope I said that correctly he's a very popular uh, Pakistani actor now he's a comedian he's hilarious but look at the dad bod on the left <laughs> and, and who he is now, like that's me on the left, and then that's who I want to be on the right. But look that at this. That took a year to do. Isn't that crazy? It is. I mean, the pressure is on. Mm -hmm. Although there's some actors and actresses that only have a small window to yes. get that done. And I can't remember her name right now, but Black Swan, do you remember that? Natalie Portman. Um, Natalie Portman. Thank, Thank you, Matt, Matt Sterner. I, he was on top of it. <laughs> yeah. She had to be a ballerina in the movie, and she was thin anyway. And she had to drop down and learn ballet at the it's same time. Wild. It's crazy. But, but you know what? You have other pictures, right? Well, we will. But okay. something important that Kamel said is that he said, this is a quote, I would not have been able to do this if I didn't have a full year with the best trainers, nutritionists, paid for by the biggest studio in the world. Uh -huh. and there it is. If you feel bad that you're not able to achieve those results on your own, you shouldn't feel no, bad. You, you don't have, have a, a year. Somebody with a probably team. slept in a couch <laughs> yeah. beside him and threw and himself him in from front eating. of the refrigerator. Exactly. So no be realistic. About it. Be realistic. Yeah. We do have other transformations, like you said, and we're starting uh, with Chris Pratt, who okay. I think is one of the biggest transformations. You remember him What's from the Parks deal and Rec? With the Swiss? Well, frankly, Maybe I like that. Maybe that just adds to the bad His charm, -ness. <laughs> probably. <laughs> but there he is. Remember him from Parks and Rec. We also yeah. have Jake Gyllenhaal. Whoa! Uh, I hadn't this was seen a big that one. Before. I don't know what movie that was that he had to transform Southpaw. Thank you, Matt is on the ball today in our <laughs> ear. So that's, oh, thanks Bob, our director actually. Uh, and last but not least, if you're a Game of Thrones fan, you know this, wow. Kit Harrington. Yeah, yeah. Big difference. But it's, I'm shocked that they weren't in really good shape before this, because in Hollywood, you have to be, right? You have to be on the ball physically mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah, for the most part. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. What is some, some are you? not <laughs> my <laughs> agent. Yeah. If I had one, he'd be like, "Calm down." Mariah anyway, Carey. Mariah yeah. Carey. This is a little bit of a trigger for me because I'm not a huge Mariah mm. Carey fan, uh, and I'm more of a classic, you know, music person, especially when it comes to holiday music. But all I want for Christmas is you, which to me is one of those things you get in your head, and like that's it for the entire week. Um, <laughs> 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 Am I giving away how much I dislike this song? Maybe. It's been out for 25 years, never made it to number one. It finally reached number one this Congratulations week. Congratulations to her. Well, it's her 19th number one of her career, which mm -hmm. not many people can say. I mean, her, the, the, the volumes that she can reach, she's an incredible singer. It's just yeah. a little too much for me. Yeah. It's well, a little too gutty. Good for her. The Beatles there. have 20 top songs, by the way, so mm -hmm. she's close to reaching.